Welcome back and thanks for watching. If you're enjoying these videos and find them helpful, please like and subscribe. This is part two of my overdrive installation. Where we're starting is you need 12 volts switched key power that is fused. You'll run 12 volts to the normally open terminal on the vacuum switch. Coming out of the vacuum switch, you run to the overdrive solenoid, which is on the left side of the case. We'll get down there in just a moment. This will be connected to manifold vacuum when the intake manifold is reinstalled. The vacuum switch will act like a throttle position sensor. So when the engine's running at idle, it'll be pulling manifold vacuum closing this switch and then it'll send power to the overdrive uh, sol solenoid. Um, when you're at cruising speeds, not accelerating, power will go from the overdrive connector to the oil pressure switch and once it reaches the set pressure the switch will ground and it should engage overdrive this transmission I, I found at the junkyard is a non lockup converter overdrive if you do have a lockup converter overdrive transmission PATC transmission makes a complete kit with instructions detailed instructions how to install it for mine I piece it together and I ordered vacuum switch and the oil pressure switch and co connected it per their wiring diagram now we'll go up onto the underside and look at the overdrive solenoid connector at the end of the video i will post a diagram of how i connected everything if i leave anything out feel free to ask any questions but i'll go over as, as well as i can all right we're up under the van now this is the uh, connector for the overdrive solenoid. Uh, it's hard to see um, But after we get 12 volts and the vacuum switch closes it sends 12 volts here to this The 12 volts leaves here. We'll go to the other side where the oil pressure switch is in the transmission case and When it is an adjustable pressure switch So when it reaches a certain pressure it grounds and it should that would be completing the circuit and engage overdrive this connector uh, I ended up finding at a junkyard. It, I don't remember what I got it out of, but it was a later model Chrysler or Dodge. Uh, it took a little modification to fit. It was a little bit different, but these pins line up with the pins for the overdrive solenoid. Now we'll go over to the other side to the oil pressure switch. All right, this is the oil pressure sensor, um, which... It's adjustable, you remove this cap, this plug, and there's a little set screw in there. You adjust it with a little Allen key. And essentially you can adjust what pressure you want the overdrive to kick on at. Um, as far as the pressure goes, that'll depend on the rear wheel size. Um, uh, the PATC uh, kit, they have very good instructions that explains this real well. Um, I recommend reading over that if you're considering doing this. But this, you can set it to whatever pressure you like. Uh, I believe mine's set around 50 PSI, if I remember correctly. It's been a while since I messed with it, but there is instructions uh, on which way you need to turn the screw to adjust the pressure. I hope this video helps. Uh, I'm still a ways away from trying it out. As you probably noticed, uh, the heads and intake manifold are off. I'm dealing with some bent valves right now. But as soon as I'm able to get it running and drive it on the road, I'll, I'll do a third update video. Um, maybe have a tack in there so you can see the RPM drop from um, third, third gear to overdrive. Uh, I believe I covered everything. I tried explaining it as, as, as best and easy as I could. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching.